guns look like they meant business. Warning. Extreme measures will be taken against non-compliant pedestrians. into one compact cube of aluminium. It was a grumpy looking maintenance droid. Excuse me. Citizen Graham. You are not authorized for this area. I was going to have to get used to being called Graham. I just wanted to ask some questions. Oh yeah? Well, I'm a 4YR droid. And 4YR droids are programmed to ask questions, not answer them. You're not like that other droid across the bridge. You mean 2CU? That little chapter. Tim Pop voice box. That's all she is. And you're a better model? Better, older, tougher, more reliable. Underneath this steel skin lies the beating heart of a 13.7 volt power cell. Wow. Old tech, you see. Tested. Solid. Whereas that flying volleyball over there runs on solar. Sun goes down, she's useless. But me? I could go all night long! <coughs> Do see you looks a little newer than you. That's right. I'm supposed to be more socially orientated. I'd like to see her try and fix a bit shaft. <coughs> what is it you're doing here? I recycle. Cans, mostly. What happens to the cans? First, they get compacted. Then they go down to the recycling center. Then what? Well, they get recycled. Turned into stuff. What kind of stuff? Important stuff. Really, really important stuff. So I've been told. Those guns sure look dangerous. Ah, oh, they're totally safe. Long as you follow Union City protocol. And if you don't? Death by disintegration. Ouch. You mentioned a power cell? Correct. I run off a 13.7 volt power cell. Really? Would it fit in a truck? It would fit in older models. Like that truck over there? Might do. Looks old enough. Mind if I borrow your power cell? But I would... Power down. Cease to exist. That's taking a pretty pessimistic view. Wouldn't you in my position? Think of it as a well-earned retirement. Sounds more like death. Any ideas on where I can get one of your power cells? Ah, uh, sorry. Factory that made their man B shut down years ago. What's beyond that door? A corridor. And after that? The city. Okay. And how do I get in? You don't. Why not? Because you are a pedestrian. And doors do not open for pedestrians. But they open for vehicles? Yes, because it is a vehicle entrance. Have you seen a boy called Milo? Gaplander or Citizen? Gaplander. All Gatlanders look the same to me. He's quite young and about this tall? Repeat, all Gatlanders look the same to me. How can I get through those doors? They only open for registered transit vehicles. So you can't help me find Milo? No. Do you know anyone else that might be able to help? You tried asking a human, they answer questions. Hmm. Depends what you're asking. 
And that's all for now. Good. Alert. Pedestrians now have only 10 seconds to comply. Lethal force authorized. Industrial fumes pumped out of the spinning exhaust fan. The pressure plate appeared to trigger the crane mechanism. The conveyor appeared to be part of a waste recycling system. power cell. It was a grumpy looking maintenance droid.
Hey, me again. Hi again. Voxel's hungry. Ugh, not surprised. Voxel's hungry. Ugh, not surprised. Catch you later. Peace. It was a statue of my friend Joey. I couldn't imagine why they would have erected it. I was sure Joey would help me find Milo. If I could just get back into the city. Citizen, welcome to the abridged audiovisual Union City Fact File. The Union City walls were forged in 1994 by a small team of resilient workers. A common misconception is that the team was formed of Australian citizens. This couldn't be further from the truth. The city wall was constructed using British steel imported, along with workers, from Hull in the United Kingdom. Many of the citizens of Union City can trace their ancestry back to that small and very dedicated group of immigrants. This concludes your requested fact. Please return for an all new Union City fact. And remember, be vigilant. Hey, Wendell. Morning, son. Or afternoon. I lose track. So all you need to get into the city is a charged power cell? Like a cheese sandwich needs chutney. Here, this should do the trick. Is that a new power cell? Juiced up? You beautiful man. How did you do it? Well, it all started with a dead man in the desert. They're gonna stop you there, chum. Any story that starts with a dead man is best kept to yourself. Hey, any chance of a lift into the city? Typical. No one ever does anything from the goodness of their art these days. I just figured that... Oh, all right. Up in the back. You earned it. You sure it's safe back here? One hundred percent, lad. I'll take your word for it. Just watch out for me neck first. I've lost enough business already. I can take you, I'm afraid. You can catch a monopod into the city from over there. And where are you going? Straight to cargo. Gotta get these babies. Quarantined? Distributed. Thanks for the ride, Wendell. Maybe see you again.
Welcome, Citizen Graham. Outdated U-chip firmware detected. Firmware must be updated to use Union City facilities. I was about to return to give Ember a piece of my mind when... Transporting you to the nearest safety services. Stalkers had come into the city, but looking around, that didn't make any sense. This place was a paradise compared to the Union City I'd left all those years ago. Joey had certainly turned the place around. I had to find the Stalkers, and whoever he was, Graham was my only lead. I just had to sort out my U-chip problems first. <laughs> <laughs> 